the bottom line is that in order to be in this business, uh, in order to be this disruptive to what's going on, you have to have, you have to be willing to, to fight. In 2009, an idea was born on the streets of San Francisco that changed how millions of people travel. The rideshare giant Uber burst onto the scene. We want to be the one-stop transportation platform for the world. Today, it's one of the world's most recognizable brands. But for Uber, it's been far from a smooth ride. Google spin-off Waymo claims that Uber possesses stolen trade secrets related to self-driving cars. A very confident Travis Kalanick was on the stand for just a little more than two hours he, today. He uh, confronted the regulators and said, if you just send me uh, cease and desist notices, I'm just going to screw them up, throw them in the bin. We were known as the, the renegades. I was illegal, the customers were illegal, and we were getting together and we were beating the system. I've heard it described as kind of a modern Wild West approach where, you know, there's a market there to be taken, we're just going to take it. The relationship between the drivers and Uber is skewed very much in Uber's favour because Uber can unilaterally change the contract. Of course it's popular. The people who use it don't have to pay for the cost of their service. Do you acknowledge that Uber was breaking the law in Australian states and territories? No, we don't acknowledge that. Available now on Video On Demand.